St. Louis Fed President James Bullard revealing why he opposed this week's FOMC decision after the central bank cut interest rates by 25 basis points. Bullard writing in a blog post today saying, quote, it is prudent risk management, in my view, to cut the policy rate aggressively now and then later increase it should the downside risks not materialize. Bullard wanted a 50 basis point cut, while the other two dissenters actually wanted to uh, have rates remain unchanged. Uh, and Carlton, it's, it's interesting, too, though, because this was the most dissent Chair yeah. Powell has seen since he's been appointed to that position. It, it really is amazing because, you know, usually you would see Esther George, you know, he, she's the usual hawk, you're used to seeing her dissent. But, I mean, not only in the decision that came out this week, but also in, you know, the dot plot and the projections for where rates are going to be going this year. I mean, mm -hmm. a ton of divergence there. Um, you know, some, you know, voting members really want to weigh in on the economy. Where are we going with trade? Let's react, you know, with each kind of incremental move. Others are perhaps taking a more long-term view, you know, feeling that the U.S. economy is doing well, you know, too much accommodation may not be the right play. It's been, it's been wild to watch. Yeah, and when we talk about a lot of, a lot of unknowns in this mm -hmm. decision, right, when we talk about trade, that being the key one here, it's, it's hard to kind of price that into, all right, how are we supposed to be thinking about this? And that's the tough spot that Chair Powell's caught it. I think that's the difficult thing. It's not just the Fed, it's investors as well. As it's, it is basically impossible to handicap this. Um, that's an important, important, important point. Another thing that um, he brought up was not just trade, but it was signs of slowing economic growth, um, U.S. manufacturing already appearing to be in recession, also pointing out to the yield curve being inverted. Um, and so these are concerns that you also hear investors talk about. It is interesting to see such divide amongst the Fed officials when it yeah. comes to their opinions on these things. So, I mean, who knows? Yeah, maybe, yeah. He could, maybe he's very well, like, onto something. You're absolutely right. I mean, if we're going to mention one side, we've got to mention the other side, right? We heard from the Dove, but what about the Hawks? Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren also speaking out on why he did not support the central bank's decision to lower rates, saying the trade war has not been, per, uh, quote, particularly large on the U.S. economy so far. And guys, he also said low interest rates could expose co-working companies like WeWork. He didn't mention WeWork specifically, mm -hmm. but a lot of concerns there, which is interesting because, you know, WeWork's not even a public company yet. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's rather large. Um, but specifically talking about commercial real estate and problems potentially there. Yeah, the low rates certainly, I mean, would, you know, hurt margins on any sort of real estate exposed company. But I think what's also really interesting here, and I was at a conference yesterday where there was some talk about this, um, where, you know, there's these views on maybe the U.S. economy is doing well. I mean, you know, the, consum the U.S. consumer is 70 percent of the economy. You're seeing things like credit card rates being paid down, you know, more than they had during the crisis. But there is this global worry, mm -hmm. you know, what's going on overseas. And, you know, how do you you know, reconcile those two ideas, like when will, in, you know, s slow down overseas start to affect us in the U.S.? Absolutely. And, and when will that spillover effect hit? And, and, and how do you deal with everyone kind of sees the same slowdown, but there are different ways to accommodate that. Uh, and if you are Chair Powell, clearly there are a lot of different opinions that you have to boil down into one key rate decision. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.